Very, very good morning to everyone, especially to members of the media uh, and everyone here on the call. Thank you so much for joining us on this very, very exciting day as we announce Air Asia's plans for the upcoming Langkawi travel bubble. So, uh, today we have with us uh, Jay Riyad Asma, CEO of Air Asia Malaysia. We also have with us Ms. Amanda Wu. CEO of Air Asia Super App, and also uh, our very esteemed guest, Yang Berbahagia Tuan Nasaruddin bin Abdul Mutalib, CEO of Lembaga Pembangunan Langkawi, LADA. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, let us all start today's session with a speech by Jay Riyad Asma, CEO of Air Asia Malaysia. Over to you, Riyad. Assalamualaikum. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Obviously, you know, it is, it's, it's really positive for me to be here, to hear, uh, to be able to talk to everyone about Langkawi. Uh, but first and foremost, again, uh, I just want to say thank you for joining us uh, uh, for this quick Zoom call. And uh, first and foremost, obviously, I would like to record our sincere appreciation to Yang Bagia Tuan Nasaruddin uh, bin Abdul Mutalib, CEO of LADA, and his very hardworking team. Uh, for joining us in this virtual press conference as well. Uh, we would like to definitely congratulate LADA. We've worked very, very hard, uh, but I think LADA took the real lead in this uh, for the reopening of Langkawi and uh, you know, for domestic tourism and through this uh, travel bubble arrangement. Uh, this is definitely the a first for Malaysia. Uh, it's something of a milestone in my personal view. Uh, yes, we've heard about other countries doing what they need to do, so on and so forth. Uh, but I'm very proud to be partners with LADA and to work together in making it happen. Uh, we obviously very, uh, we are very committed uh, in collaborating with all industry players. Uh, we have suffered, obviously, for many many reasons over the one and a half years. Uh, but you know, this 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 is a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel for all of us and. You know, we can also see that there's also pent up demand uh, with regards to traveling uh, in, inter, in interstate or in Malaysia itself. And, you know, this is something that is very, very good to see. Uh, we, we've seen very encouraging numbers, uh, bookings, uh, you know, through our super app. And of course, people wanting to fly to Langkawi. Um, Asia, Malaysia, for example, uh, were very committed uh, to this project or this bubble testing. And, you know, we are planning for about 90 weekly flights already, departing from Kuala Lumpur uh, or Penang, Johor, Johor Bahru, Ipoh, as well as Kota Bahru um, in multiple uh, scheduled flights, obviously. Uh, but we are definitely going to hit this on a 90 weekly flight uh, plan. So it Flights start obviously from the September, October, uh, selling fast. Uh, and in addition to the flight connectivity, obviously, uh, Ms. Amanda, who's with us today, will be talking a bit more about our super app. And we're rolling out multiple types of deals for everyone to enjoy. Um, one of the questions that I, I do want to probably bring forth here is the fact that a lot of questions during and before this have been posed to me personally as well, uh, is how, how we are prepared uh, to ensure our guests are safe, uh, flying with us, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, operationally, uh, we have maintained our necessary SOPs. Uh, we are always prepared to fly uh, regardless of when. Uh, and obviously over the year and a half, we've enhanced all our procedures and manpower capabilities and basically, we have a very robust operations, ready to take the air at the moment. Uh, so part and parcel, obviously, of what you will see will be the standard SOPs that we've been implementing, as well as enhanced areas, obviously. Uh, yes, you will still be required to, to wear your mask. But more importantly, our cabin crew, for example, will continue to use all the necessary 
or SOPs that have been guided also by the, the government agencies and necessary requirements by the regulators as well. Uh, aircraft wise, you know, we have, again, as I said, engineering, we're well prepared, you know, we are safe, uh, we have the highest standards in terms of necessary requirements met by regulatory requirements. And also, you know, cleanliness is also a fact that we've continued to do regardless of how many flights we do. The standard operating procedure that we apply to our aircrafts uh, are, are continued. Uh, we clean, we sanitize, it goes through a two hour deep cleaning process every night. Uh, every turnaround, we, we obviously, as mentioned, every turnaround, we do a cleaning and sanitizing of it. But uh, every night when it does it stop, we then do a full thorough deep cleaning process. Uh, but more importantly, I guess, you know, we're here to welcome our guests, uh, but there are some new approaches to how guests now will fly with us. And, you know, we have implemented a lot of new technologies uh, in the app, obviously. And from there, you know, a person can easily self-check in. Uh, but more importantly, it is one of the mandatory procedures that we, we are implementing. Uh, obviously, you can check in 14 days uh, before your departure date, so that makes it easy. Uh, other than that, you know, the standard uh, other experiences that we've implemented over the one and a half years uh, quicker than planned, uh, such as arriving early at the airport still needs to happen. Uh, so because there are a bit more uh, procedures that uh, a passenger would need to go through. Uh, so to not miss a flight, obviously, it will take some time. Uh, multiple agencies are involved as well. But uh, this is something that has been managed pretty well from my own experience, looking at my operations as well as the experiences of the guests. Uh, yeah, other than that, obviously, you will be encouraged to use contactless kiosks at the airport. Uh, you know, we, you will still need to wear face masks uh, through the journey. But uh, I think it's not too enduring for such uh, a person wanting to fly because it's becoming a bit more of a norm nowadays. Uh, so I'm very appreciative uh, also towards the passengers that have already accepted uh, the ways and means of getting from one point to another uh, via an airline. So I think, uh, you know, I just, I want to keep it short from my side. Uh, we'd love to hear from uh, our friends from Lada as well as Ms. Amanda. Uh, but again, I just want to assure everyone that, you know, we're ready to welcome everyone on board. Uh, we urge, uh, obviously, uh, everyone to use the technology that uh, we've implemented. Uh, that will obviously make it seamless and much more easier for somebody to fly with us. And again, I would want to say here uh, a very, very big congratulations to Yang Bagia Tuan Nasiruddin and his team uh, for the support obviously of making this happen and more importantly also to, to, to help us at Asia in making it, making it possible as well. Uh, we look work very much, uh, look forward to working very closely even more with them uh, going forward uh, and to make this a success. Uh, we also hope more travel bubbles will happen for Malaysia uh, but this is something then it will develop at one point probably not anytime near uh, to what we're doing. Uh, we do need to do one thing at a time. And I believe Langkawi is the best example for us to have at this particular moment. Uh, so again, I, I thank you again, everyone for being here today. Um, and I, I hand it over back to Daphne. Yes, thank you so much, Riyad. And uh, I think all of us truly appreciate the whole airline team for working around the clock to ensure that our guests can travel safely, especially to Langkawi. So next up, I would like to invite up on this virtual stage, Ms. Amanda Wu, CEO of AirAsia Super App, to further share the plans for Langkawi with everyone. Over to you, Amanda. Thanks, uh, Daphne. Thanks, Riyad. Very good morning uh, to everyone. Very happy day for all of us today. And uh, thank you very much for taking your time to join us for this virtual press conference. Um, before I proceed, I uh, would like to thank uh, Yang Barahagir, Tuan Nasaruddin, and um, the LADA team for the great effort in making this happen again. We are all very excited how we can work together uh, to welcome tourists to uh, Langkawi again. At a super app level, we are very proud to have completed a full transformation 
over the last 12 to 18 months into a full digital travel and lifestyle uh, platform, which provide every user a single platform experience throughout every steps of their journey with us, anytime and um, any day. This Langkawi Travel Bubble is definitely a great start um, for us to show every um, super app user the value and all of our offerings as well as um, a robust ecosystem that enables a traveler to have seamless booking experience for the entire journey from flights to accommodation, hotels booking, airport transfer with our new AirAsia ride, as well as our digital duty-free platform, which I'm going to share more a bit later in this uh, presentation. I will try to keep this short and sweet and the rest of the questions we can actually discuss over the Q&A session later. John, uh, next slide, please. John, next slide, please. That's okay, I will continue. I think probably some technical um, hiccup over drawn side. So um, again, travel remains as our core business. Last year, we, we introduced hotel booking on our super app. And today, we're very happy to announce that we have over 400 hotels within the Langkawi for you to choose from. Other than flights and the hotel, Snap is definitely a new way uh, to fly. With the super app users right now, they can enjoy a greater value and convenience with both return flights, plus a three days, two nights hotel stay at Langkawi only at 99 ringgit per person during our promotional period. Uh, we have sold more than probably 2000 packages of this SNAP uh, over the last uh, six, uh, 48 hours. The next piece will be very important for us and today is really another proud moment for all of us at Super App level where we are proud to announce that by end of September, uh, there will be a brand new way to do your duty free shopping in uh, Langkawi. Joanne, next slide, please. Uh, never mind, Joanne, I don't think I need the slide anymore. So, by the end of September, we are proud to present to you with a brand new way of digitizing um, duty free shopping experience in Langkawi. This will be our first ever us in Asia, which will offer island wide and same day delivery to your hotels across Langkawi by end of this month. So what I'm gonna do is uh, every user or customer can now purchase at any time, anywhere, and enjoy the same day delivery of uh, within six hours of your favorite duty-free products delivered to their hotels and or any destination within Langkawi. You can, all you need to do, you can actually come to Aerojo Super App, pre-book um, your favorite duty-free products and get it delivered to your hotels even before your flight to Langkawi. So this is another great innovation uh, from us at a super app level in collaboration with the entire uh, LADA team. So far, we have about six major uh, retailers sign up with us, already offering about 500 SKU or the super app level. Be sure to look out for free deliveries and special discounts, especially for all the average passengers. We encourage all retailers in Langkawi to jump on the bandwagon and sign up with us with this great um, offerings. When the international travel re resumes, I, don't, I think uh, we'll be introducing many more ways of uh, receiving our duty-free shopping, including in-flight uh, delivery, airport pickup, hotel, and soon, I hope really, really soon that we can even do home delivery, but that is uh, still at the planning stage. I'll be able to share more once we're ready. Um, the next thing is we want to know uh, on AirAsia right? which uh, is our very, very recent launch of AirAsia, right? Our first uh, e-hailing platform, AirAsia Super App, right now um, is only available in Klang Valley, but I'm very, very happy to announce that we are coming to Langkawi from um, 16th of September onwards. So now guests can actually look forward uh, to more affordable rides, probably cheapest um, airport trips that you can get on a Super App versus other players in the market from your home to airport, as well as within uh, the Langkawi island itself, as well as uh, we are ready to offer a super deal, probably a good uh, discount to all Arisha passengers as an added value to all our passengers within the super app. So these are some of the great offerings that we have to offer um, from travel to shopping, 
to hotels and to many, many more others offerings that you can find on Azure Super App. So again, uh, back to our true DNA of Super App, it's all about value. It's all about convenience uh, for, for us. That's all for me today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Amanda. And wow, looks like visitors to Langkawi really have so much to look forward to when this travel bubble begins in a few short days. Uh, members of the media, don't worry. Uh, for the deck earlier, you know, uh, if you need it, we can definitely send it uh, across to all of you with the details inside. So now, um, now that we've heard from both Riyadh uh, and Amanda, you know, now let us hear from uh, Lada directly regarding this travel bubble. And for that, I would like to humbly invite Tuan Nasaruddin, CEO of Lada, for his speech. Assalamualaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and uh, very good morning, Mr. Ria Asma, CEO of A A Asia, Miss Amanda Wu, CEO of A Asia Super Apps, uh, respected uh, media partners, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to congratulate and thanks A Asia for introducing a. Uh, great value deals to flight and hotel combos on SNAP. So targeting domestic uh, uh, tourists after the government announcement to reopen uh, Lang Langkawi, Langkawi. So and it's, uh, it's Asia initiative and promotion such as one way flight to Langkawi from KL, Penang, JB and uh, Kota Baru at rates as low as uh, 12 ringgit are certainly laudable. Uh, they will not only kickstart Malaysia domestic travel once again, but also return the liveliness of Langkawi tourism industry after the rough pandemic. So we strongly believe that Langkawi is a great choice of pilot destination to be reopened as we offer a wide range of a tourism product that caters to everyone at affordable uh, cost. Further boosted by uh, A Asia appealing uh, uh, promotions, Langkawi will become an irresistible uh, tourism, uh, tourism destination for all. Moreover, uh, traveling by air will be more convenient uh, since uh, uh, tourists uh, are not required to obtain uh, police or P uh, PDRM uh, permission as they can directly book a uh, flight tickets and travel uh, to the island. Such convenient uh, will encourage them uh, more to visit uh, Langkawi soon. Uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, for your information, everyone uh, in the island uh, is equally excited and looking forward for, to, to the reopening. Uh, of reopening. Lada through a series of engagement uh, with uh, industry play, uh, play, uh, players and government agencies uh, has come out with Langkawi Tourism a Recovery Plan, known as uh, Langkawi t -Rec. This uh, short-term plan uh, serves as a reference for tourism stakeholders in Langkawi to recover and uh, strive for economic uh, sustainability. Although the uh, reopening of uh, Langkawi tourism sector is crucial to revive the uh, eco economy, and the local livelihood is also necessary uh, to strike balance, particularly with, particularly, uh, with matters concerning uh, everyone's uh, safety and health. Addressing this uh, concern, LADA has uh, introduced my Safe Langkawi certification as compliance standard for tourism stakeholders here to guarantee the readiness of their premises. Under this campaign, certification uh, will be accorded to six tourism segments, namely FMB, accommodation, retails, travel agent, uh, and uh, product operators. We work closely with uh, Langkawi Tourism Academy, uh, the PDRM, MKN, the local government, uh, MPLBP, uh, uh, civil defense forces, and uh, Tourism Malaysia to make sure the necessary premises comply with COVID-19 risk assessment in hope to increase everyone's confidence to travel uh, to, Lang uh, to, to Langkawi. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our target is to receive uh, 400,000 uh, visitors in this uh, three and a half uh, uh, months. Uh, to recap, Langkawi recorded uh, 285 flights per week uh, in, 19, uh, in 2019. Unfortunately, uh, when the pandemic hit uh, in 2020, flight frequency has dropped to 195 per week. Hence, for the uh, upcoming season, we hope uh, to strategically collaborate with Air Asia to draw, draw more uh, tourists uh, to this island. We hope from federal government, uh, with, with, uh, with the support from federal government, hopefully this endeavor will soon pave more new domestic and international routes uh, to Langkawi. The success of Langkawi uh, reopening is certainly anticipated as not only the whole country is looking at how we are managing our domestic tourist, tourism, but uh, also the whole world. In fact, uh, if it works, this will help to increase the will and interest of uh, tourists uh, to visit uh, Langkawi. Accordingly, uh, it will also become a great start for government to open Malaysia to international uh, tourists. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Langkawi is proudly known as uh, the jewel of Kedah uh, with rich natural treasures, unique flora and fauna, friendly multicultural local as well as deeply rooted uh, her her heritage. Uh, so, uh, in short, Langkawi is the perfect vacation spot for everyone to distress and rejoice their mind. All incoming tourists are also required to adhere to all SOP and take extra preventive measures uh, for their own safe and smooth holiday experience. This is to ensure they, will, they can enjoy the long-awaited vacation instead of checking into either PKRC or the hospital. It's all, it is also advised for them to properly prepare uh, with early bookings of accommodation, transport and product entrance ticket to, in compliance with the latest SOP. To keep our tourism uh, sec, uh, sector safe, sustainable and strong support and three active roles uh, from everyone are critically uh, needed. All in all, uh, LADA appreciates the initiative taken by AASIA to help rebuild the island tourism industry. The extensive network of routes uh, prepared by the airline has contributed to the expansion of our market potential, hence uh, increasing the number of incoming tourists. We are ready to collaborate more with AASIA for the prosperity of tourism in Langkawi. Uh, finally, I wish to personally welcome everyone to Langkawi, an island that is abundantly blessed with natural endowment of unique and large flora and fauna, st uh, stunning sandy beaches, rugged rock formation, and pristine rainforest. Uh, please adhere to the adhere to the SOP and enforce while enjoying your holiday on the island. May the pilot project of Langkawi Travel Bubble benefits and uh, all parties involved. Uh, do come to Langkawi. Langkawi misses everyone. Uh, with that, uh, I end my speech uh, today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tuan Nasaruddin. And indeed, I think uh, everyone misses Langkawi very much <laughs> as well. Um, yeah, so it looks like Langkawi is all set to receive visitors in a few short days. And uh, just as Tuan Nasaruddin said, remember to follow all SOPs. So, media members, uh, we will now go straight into our Q&A session. Thank you so much to all of you who have uh, shared your questions via the Google form as well as the Zoom chats here. Uh, if you have further questions for our panel, please feel free to drop them in the chat section and uh, we will try to ensure that it is covered. So just a quick repeat of who we have on the panel today. Of course, we have Ria Asma, CEO of AirAsia Malaysia. Amanda Wu, CEO AirAsia Super App, as well as uh, Tuan Nasaruddin, LADA CEO. So let's quickly begin with the first question, uh, which is from TV3 to Riyadh. 
um, TV3 would like to know what is the response like for the Langkawi opening in terms of flight bookings so far? What is the load factor and what are the plans to increase frequency in Langkawi? I, I can obviously throw in a few numbers, uh, probably not as accurate as my other teammates would know. But uh, yeah, it's been very encouraging. Uh, obviously, from the get go, when the announcement was made, uh, we were very excited about it. Uh, we were prepared also at the same time. The team has done a tremendous job to get it up and running. Uh, offerings you've heard from Amanda earlier uh, also created enough uh, attention and stickiness. And I believe. Uh, we, on the first day itself, we were almost up to 30,000 tickets uh, sold. We are almost reaching 200,000 since day one of opening up Langkawi uh, with the necessary promotions put in place and offerings put in place. So obviously, we're very, very encouraged uh, with the demand. Uh, mentioned much earlier, obviously, there's pent up demand. People are eager to move or to visit uh, other states. Uh, and this obviously is one of the outlets uh, of seeing such demand taking place. Uh, so based on that as well, we are monitoring it very closely. Uh, but as I mentioned much earlier, also the plans for our side is to have 90 weekly flights into Langkawi. Uh, split of the majority, obviously, more than 60% would obviously fly from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, but the rest are uh, split between the other states that uh, we've mentioned much earlier, uh, like Johor Bahru, uh, Kota Bahru, uh, Ipoh, so on and so forth. Uh, so, you know, hopefully as we go on with the weeks and uh, the success, uh, inshallah, that comes with it, uh, with LADA's help and support, uh, we will, we have every intention uh, to Tuan Nas Everybody's point uh, to increase to what we used to do. Uh, this is always something that we are comfortable with. Uh, we enjoy to a certain degree uh, to provide the services to the passengers or to, to Malaysians or even international passengers. Uh, so hopefully we will be able to reach it at one point. Uh, but as of right now, very, very excited, very happy with what we're seeing right now. And we're super prepared for, for uh, carrying our passengers from September 16 onwards. Yeah, and uh, this is followed up by another question from Flight Global. Uh, Flight Global would like to understand, you know, with the opening of uh, this Langkawi travel bubble, how soon does AirAsia see a recovery for the aviation business? And if this uh, recovery has changed from any earlier forecasts, as well as um, what is the expected effects on revenue and in the longer term, uh, air travel recovery prospects. Yeah, I think I mean to be to be very very honest, uh, industry wise, I think it's difficult for for us to predict. Uh, you know, right now what is going to happen in the next couple of weeks or months and whatnot. Uh, you know, we we obviously have forecasts, we have our results, uh, we have our plans going forward. We definitely have plans for twenty twenty two, but it's all dependent about on on situations such as this. Uh, this is a very welcoming fact that, you know, as the Malaysian government and the agencies that are involved, uh, more importantly, to have that balance, uh, not to, to, to do business, but also in a very, very safe manner. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's very dependent on other policy makers as well. Uh, so to be able to, to sit here today and say, I can predict this is going to be uh, super successful and it will evolve into opening up more borders or more bubbles and whatnot. Uh, my learnings of the last one and a half years, we have to be very, very careful. We have to be very mindful of the situation. There's still a bit of unpredictability out there with regards to the pandemic, uh, but I think we are controlling it very well in Malaysia. Uh, and I think this is one of the outlets that or this, the result of being able to control certain things. Uh, but it's, as I said, it's, it's a test, it's, it's a bubble, uh, and hopefully we can make it a success. But, uh, you know, light at, at the end of the tunnel, yes, for sure. Uh, as part of the aviation industry, we always are positive about something that will come and will happen. People want to fly at the end of the day. People still require 
flights to get to one point to another. Yes, you can travel by road, you have other means, uh, so on and so forth. But I think uh, flight it has been part and parcel of our life for at least Air Asia's perspective the last 20 years. And I don't think uh, the airline industry uh, will just go away just like that. Uh, this is something that we're definitely looking forward to service and continue to service for the future. Um, it's just a matter of timing and being patient in my view. Much. And uh, next, the next question is for Amanda, actually. Um, Amanda, if you are able to further elaborate about the launch of this new omnichannel duty-free uh, product in Langkawi, as well as Air Asia Ride. And then one more thing which the media would like to know uh, after you answer about the both uh, earlier is, you know, uh, will this plan of introducing different facets of uh, the super apps such as e-hailing, hotel, snap, duty-free, uh, be replicated to other destinations when other travel bubbles are announced as well? Sure. Uh, thanks, Stephanie. Very good question. So I guess I'll take the, the question one by one. To your first question is, um, what is actually a, a digital a digitized duty-free platform for Asia? Why do we call it the omni-channel? First of all, if you look at overall um, in the market right now, is there one single player of e-commerce online marketplace for travel retail? Um, I don't think there is any significant um, player in the market. The closest I can think of is probably iShop or Changi, right? That would be closest for, for, for ASEAN market. Um, if you look at it prior to COVID, right, we're looking at about for Asia Pacific alone, there's about 36 uh, billion US dollar worth of uh, business and ASEAN country probably about 10 uh, billion US dollar annual sales. With that, it was greatly impacted by the overall pandemic, right? So what our vision and the, what we are doing behind the scene right now is almost ready uh, for, the, for the world, but we started with Langkawi first is where this omni-channel will allow us to do end-to-end -end, uh, delivery from booking to uh, probably you can actually pick up from the airports. We are working with uh, uh, multiple and key players of the uh, travel retail uh, merchants at the airports. We have started our negotiations and the discussion, and we have some of them already uh, with us at the um, KLIA airports. We are also right now in discussion with a couple of them at the, um, the Bangkok Dongwang airport as well, how we can work together that allow us um, to, to, to let our users uh, who book with us on Air Asia Super App to pick up from the airport straight at the, at the merchant and travel retail shop before their flight. That is uh, point number one, channel number one. The second channel obviously is with all our flight resumptions. Um, we can actually deliver to your seats. That is always in an Air Asia DNA. We are opening up another channel which is very, very specific to Langkawi today where we will allow uh, users to pre-book um, the uh, duty-free products before flights and get it delivered to your hotel doorsteps. You can actually enjoy it uh, probably a few hours before your flight, or you can order um, every uh, probably about four to six hours before you, you, you would like it delivered to you in Langkawi itself. Last but not least, and we're still planning, uh, this will another great, great channel for everybody. Uh, for the future is potentially you can actually deliver uh, your duty-free product to your home as well. So if you look at this entire only uh, channel system, we are the only one who's able to enable it because of the overall ecosystem that we have within the Air uh, group, the flights. We have a last mile uh, delivery uh, company, which is Teleport, also enabling this whole thing to happen. And right now with even stronger with the Air right launching in Langkawi, some of the drivers potentially will be uh, delivering our passengers to the hotel as well as the duty-free goods to your hotels as well in between uh, the time on ground. So that is the overall uh, duty-free uh, vision that we have. Also for duty-free, uh, we, we are also uh, in the midst of preparing, working with um, more than the AirAsia airline as well. So imagine if you are to pre-book or book any flights on the AirAsia Super App, which is beyond, not AirAsia specific flight, but other any other airline that's with us right now on Super App, you can also pre-book your duty fee before you fly. Of course, with that, you will be able to pick up from the airport, the designated airport that we have a uh, uh, partnership with. That is for the future. It's all in the planning right now. 
And this is really a big uh, game for us. And I believe that it will be a big, uh, it will be really a game changer in the market uh, for, for the duty fee uh, segment, especially on the digital platform. Langkawi is, is always um, um, uh, our, how to say, Langkawi is always in our heart, right? Especially every single Malaysian. So at the beginning of this conversation, in fact, we have this plan out um, since a couple of months ago um, that well, we really wanted and ready to digitize uh, Langkawi as the number one, uh, not just leisure, but the duty-free shopping um, um, island in Asia. And at the super app level, together with Riyadh and team, very committed how we can actually bring Langkawi to a whole new level in the Asia market, being not just recognized as a leisure, but as well as a uh, duty-free. And now SuperApp is very committed to offer our platform, especially to support all the local uh, travel retailers, which was impacted by the COVID in the last 12 to 18 months to revive the overall business with AirAsia. We really believe that um, with, um, with the international travel return, uh, these will be really a big uh, piece of our economy that we can contribute to to overall Langkawi uh, economy growth, right? So that is for that. And then the next question, if I, um, if I get it right, is about AirAsia Ride, right, right? Recently, we have launched um, AirAsia Ride in, in Malaysia. That's the first one in Asia. We're planning to go into Thailand as well as Indonesia very soon. But from Malaysia, we started off with Plank Valley a couple of um, weeks ago. And uh, we're seeing very, very good traction coming from um, the response, coming from the passengers, Malaysian, as well as the drivers uh, across Malaysia. Within 48 hours of launch, uh, we received uh, probably 5,000 new drivers signing up with us. And uh, we were running as fast as we can right now to onboard all these drivers and getting them uh, approval to drive. Uh, with that, we are, we, we are hoping to bring to Langkawi at the point of time. And um, I think today, uh, my head of uh, AirAsia right confirmed that uh, we are coming to uh, Langkawi. Uh, last week, we managed to get a couple of uh, hundreds of drivers signing up with us in Langkawi itself. With that, we hope to be able to offer end-to-end -end our journey to all the AirAsia passengers from home to airport and now from Langkawi airport to hotels and within Langkawi um, Island itself. Also, another thing is uh, true to our value as an AirAsia uh, group, anything that we do is all about value and low cost, right? Um, if you look at AirAsia right today, uh, our commission to, uh, to drivers is very low, probably half the amount of what our competitor is charging to the drivers. We're only collecting a certain 15% of commission and our rates is definitely lower. Uh, than our competitors out there, especially for all the Azure passengers, right? So one of the great things we want to offer is um, really a whole ecosystem where any Azure passengers will be able to enjoy uh, probably the cheapest uh, airport trip uh, via um, Azure, right? Including now in, in Langkawi. So we are making all this thing happen. The next city we're going into is uh, probably Penang in the next uh, couple of weeks time. So that's our vision. Even in, in Langkawi, I think what we are seeing is that other than reviving the entire economy, we, we are hoping that with AirAsia Ride coming from Langkawi, we offer more job opportunities as well uh, for everyone in Langkawi. And uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, but we are very confident at a superb level and we are really ready for this uh, travel bubble. Um, I think I saw a question on the screen just now. Definitely correct me, I'm wrong. Uh, there were questions at if uh, uh, how do we making sure that the, the driver is safe as well, right? So as a passenger, if I saw the screen correctly, uh, yes, uh, we are actually uh, filtering and uh, we're being very selective who can be our drivers. And we look, uh, we actually screen through those who are fu fully vaccinated to begin with. And hopefully more people will get vaccinated and we have more drivers in the Langkawi as well as the, the, enti the entire parts of Malaysia. Thank you. The next question we have is from TB3 uh, to Tuan Nasaruddin. Um, and TB3 would like to know uh, if I would just read the question in DM from, from uh, TB3. Boleh Tuan Nasaruddin share dari data atau pengamatan LADA tahap occupancy level hotel dan homestay di Langkawi untuk pembukaan nanti? Uh, adakah kebanyakan hotel uh, sudah fully booked dan uh, sampai bila? Uh, okay. Uh... Pada masa ini kita mendapat laporan daripada MA Malaysian Association of Hoteliers. Average 
tempahan adalah pada uh, 50%. Uh, 50% uh, 50%, uh, 50% uh, ekuvensi terutamanya uh, untuk uh, hotel-hotel bertaraf 4, uh, 4 bintang dan uh, 5 bintang. Hotel-hotel uh, since apa hotel-hotel bertaraf uh, 4 bintang dan 5 bintang pada masa sekarang men, uh, memberi uh, tawaran harga uh, yang baik dan uh, everybody uh, take this opportunity uh, take this opportunity okey uh, hotel-hotel uh, tiga bintang dan ke, uh, ke bawah uh, masih masih uh, masih rendah sekitar 20 ke 30% pada masa uh, ini okey um, thank you so much tuan asaruddin and the next question is uh, still for you tuan um, economy traveler would like to understand uh, in terms uh, of the safety aspects, more from the safety aspects, what is the vaccination rate among the frontliners in Langkawi, like the hawkers, uh, the different taxi drivers? Of course, we know Air Asia, right, is 100% uh, vaccinated. Uh, how about yeah, the hawkers, shop owners, and other people that the tourists will actually meet in Langkawi? Is, okay, yeah. uh, the vaccination rate uh, in uh, Langkawi, uh, almost 92% of the population uh, already received their, uh, their first dose and while uh, uh, for the sec uh, second dose uh, currently at the 88 uh, percent and and it keep uh, in increasing for the uh, industrial uh, uh, play uh, player we make it uh, compulsory for the, uh, for them uh, to have uh, all the workers to get uh, to uh, to get 100 uh, percent vaccinated as part of uh, our uh, my safe Langkawi certificate uh, 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 cam campaign, uh, one of the requirement is the all the workers have to be hundred uh, percent vac uh, vaccinated. Okay, in terms of uh, preparation, uh, in case of uh, out outbreaks, we are uh, we have a, a quarantine uh, hotel. We have hundred twenty uh, rooms. Uh, uh, 20, uh, 20 rooms uh, with um, um, with medical support at, uh, at, at, at the hotel and then uh, our uh, if uh, the tourists uh, cannot afford to stay at the uh, quarantine hotel we have a uh, PKR PKRC the, uh, the uh, government uh, quarantine uh, as, as a cent, a center with uh, almost uh, 100 beds and uh, for, K, uh, for category uh, four and five cases, they will admit uh, to the uh, government uh, hospital. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, the next question is uh, from BFM to Riyadh. Um, BFM would like to understand, you know, uh, with the robustness of uh, the checking protocols, uh, the area has set up. There are also reports of people who forge vaccine certifications, and uh, BFM has also posed this question to Malaysia Airports. But Malaysia Airports has said that it is also just as incumbent on the respective airlines to verify documents. So uh, they would like comments from you, uh, Riyadh, regarding this, and also to find out how has this development been able to help Air Asia to rehire or reinstate staff who have left, retrenched, or furloughed. Okay, for, for the quest, the first question, obviously, uh, you know, checking protocols, uh, we, we adhere to the necessary guidelines given uh, by the authorities, uh, obviously. Uh, but that being said, uh, one, we, we have our system as well in place where if you do your self-check-in, uh, which is mandatory, obviously, and uh, they are requested or required to upload uh, any required vaccination or health documentation so on and so forth. Uh, we have our system that will verify it uh, in terms of genuineness of the certificate and uh, with the interconnectability and uh, in, from a tech side, uh, of, I'm not tech guy, but I know as a fact that, you know, our app will be able to verify uh, utilizing all the necessary links that we have with uh, MySujatra to ensure that uh, the vaccine certificate is legitimate. Uh, and hence uh, allowing the passenger to fly with us. Uh, on the second level also, uh, I can imagine that the passenger will have to go through multiple uh, processes and procedures that is, that's required by, by actually by the government uh, 
uh, even you know I'm assuming that even certain certain ba uh, barriers within the airport as well, security checks, you know, they will still require uh, some citing of the vaccine uh, certificate to ensure that you are you are able to or legitimately allowed to, to, to fly to Langkawi. Uh, there will be multiple layers. And apart from our, our own way of uh, managing that expectation, we will also do manual checks when necessary uh, with regards to the vaccine certificates. Um, please bear in mind that I think my Jatra has become very robust with regards to the uh, certificates. Uh, and the, the, the reports that I've heard or I've read, uh, I've not seen a, an actual situation yet uh, with regards to vaccine forgery, sorry, vaccine certificate forgery. But uh, I would find it very, very uh, challenging for someone to, to do so because we will be requiring, for example, I will be requiring someone to show their mycejatra and for them to actually then physically show it to me that I am a fully vaccinated person, which I think now with the latest update on mycejatra, uh, uh, even the first page that flashes uh, shows whether you are fully vaccinated or not. Uh, obviously, you can go into details when you can, you want. You can scan the code. Uh, you know that is the app that's available uh, that will scan the code and verify the the genuineness of the information, so on and so forth. So I'm 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 very confident in terms of the procedures and processes that have been put in place. Obviously, we've enhanced it further. Yes, we are aware of the possibilities of illegitimate certificates uh, coming into play, but uh, we have considered all options and all areas uh, in terms of working together with the other agencies, uh, including the airport authorities and whatnot, to make sure that the whole procedure or process that we are about to embark on is as foolproof as possible. Uh, so, you know, with that level of confidence, I think, um, you know, one of the reasons why we are actually having this bubble at the end of the so hopefully that 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 happens quickly and with all the necessary safeguards in place. Um, on your second question, with regards to you know how how this is going to help us as Air Asia uh, and our people, uh, yes, you know we we've had some challenges over the last one and a half years. We've had to do certain exercises uh, to no fault of of them, obviously. Uh, but, you know, it's something that I and the team here uh, are monitoring on a daily basis. Again, I, I can't sit here and predict, you know, what's going to happen, uh, you know, to the T. Uh, but I am very encouraged by the fact that, you know, I am definitely going to fly more aircrafts. I will require more cabin crew, pilots, uh, manpower on the ground, so on and so forth. Uh, but I think we will be carefully monitoring it. And uh, hopefully, as the trajectory goes as 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 positive as I think it would uh, going into next year, then yes, definitely, you know, then we'll be able to bring back people, we'll be able to re-offer people uh, jobs, uh, and go back to to a point that you know maybe we were, uh, you know, a year ago or maybe uh, or two years ago, for example. Uh, so yes, hopefully things do get better from here on, and uh, from then on, then we will see how how it develops for us. Okay, thank you so much, Ian. And uh, yeah, so that would be the last question of the day. But uh, before we wrap up, uh, I would like to ask um, Amanda, Riyad, and Tuan Nasaruddin if you have uh, any wrap up comments. Sure. Tuan yes. Tuan Nasar. Yeah, Sorry. Tuan, yeah, no problem. Tuan, Tuan can go first. So uh, we welcome everyone to uh, Langkawi. Uh, we have stayed at home for so, so long, and please yes. <laughs> and come and rejoice in Langkawi. Welcome, Amanda. Cool. Um, for me, is uh, really really very happy for all of us, and uh, we at the Super App team level, we're very committed to work with um, Lada together with Ria. And the Langkawi will definitely become the preferred choice of destination to leisure and both uh, digital duty-free digital shopping in Asia. On behalf of AirAsia, I think a big thank you again um, to Lada for making this happen. To all our guests, um, we'd like to welcome you on board very soon. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, for me, 
guys at the end of the day, again again thank you to anasa and your team obviously for for doing the work that you've done uh we're here to to support you as well you know we are very encouraged on the possibilities inshallah you know we'll get back to the point of what we call normal in terms of scheduled flights and uh, bringing passengers into langkawi but i uh, know everyone's excited um, very very happy for everyone on the possibilities here uh, as an airline i know i think uh, as i did mention you know it's is a, a good start of sorts you know it's is light at the end of the tunnel hopefully from here it will develop to better things ahead for all of us uh, you know in the industry uh, and you know for for a better future for for where we go from here on um, but last and not least obviously you know we we are ready uh, air asia is ready air asia is ready in all forms operationally commercially uh, we're ready to bring passengers into langkawi uh, and in a very very safe manner uh, we are 100% vaccinated uh, in terms of those operating uh, our aircrafts uh, bringing these passengers so we've considered every single possible areas uh, to make it as safe as possible so that we can bring people in and out of langkawi safely so you know all we ask obviously is that we all still need to follow the sops uh, you know, there, there will be a bit of a different way of holidaying in Langkawi. But I think if we, if we follow the SOPs, kita patuh arahan when necessary, everything will be okay, inshallah. Thank you again, everyone. And thank you very much, media, for, for spending some time with us today. Thank you so much. So uh, before we end the session, we'll just have a quick uh, virtual group shot so if we can have everyone to just look at the camera uh okay three two one okay one safety shot three two one okay thank you so much everyone for <laughs> attending this press conference today and hope to see you on board air, an air asia flight to langkawi soon i can't wait can't wait see you in langkawi you guys <laughs> Yes, yeah, see, see everyone in Langkawi. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. <laughs>